Hey yo, make sure y'all subscribe to the Bro Fruquan channel. You feel what I'm saying? Cause I know a lot of y'all dudes out there can't get enough. Y'all can't get enough of this Brooklyn history. And this Rikers Island is state penitentiary history, I understand. So make sure y'all go subscribe to the Bro channel, you feel what I'm saying? Leave a comment on a few videos and tell them Z-Man Suicide Polo with the Ski Man sent you. You heard? Comment, gang in the building. Hey, yo, LAZ, man, that story is sent me in part two. Deported to Guyana. You feel what I'm saying? It's extra fire. Shout out to the whole Flatbush. Shout out to the whole Brooklyn. I mean, shout out to all the Rikers Island legends out there. C-74 legends out there. You feel what I'm saying? If you want to send the bro some bread, this is his information for Western Union. You heard? Get at the bro on WhatsApp. Add him on WhatsApp now. You heard? Z Lord, Brownsville, Brooklyn. You heard? Howie Gang, Barcelona. Dykeman, 200 block, two side. You heard? Let's get it. When my grandmother was living, the environment was so bad, man. I'm not even gonna lie to you, son. They don't have no lights, no water, no road. Everything is mud in, mud out. And it's one of the most dangerous fucking place you could think about. Cause these niggas is killing niggas every other day. Like if you try to like do a business there or whatever, whatever, the niggas, the niggas was popping niggas heads off every other month you was hearing it, right? First, I want to send a condolence to you and your family for the passing of your cousin T. Roy. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I couldn't start this without at least, you know what I mean, uh, telling y'all that. You know Appreciate what I mean, son? You. So, my condolence, I mean, he rest in peace, man. Appreciate you know? You, bro. Yeah, in terms of that, what, what ended up happening, what ended up happening, to be honest with you, after the government had, um, I told you they had threatened the, 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 the Guyanese officials down here. The main government officials and told them if they don't accept the the the, the, the if they don't accept us back that they they're gonna revoke the the visas. So they end up they end up um accepting us back. And I think I came down on a, on the second plane because the first plane I didn't I didn't get to come on that one. So the second plane it was like twelve of us came down here. You know what I'm saying? Now them dudes yeah. that was on that plane they was oh you said they was from all over the country right? Yeah, all of son. I don't know none of them dudes from nowhere, nowhere. They just started like, you know what I'm saying? Like say snatching people up forever since I was accepting back. And when we come down now, son, this is no lie. I'm not even gonna lie to you, son. I, I you know, like I said, you know, dudes left here since they was little. So I didn't really know what I was coming home to. I'm thinking like, yo, I gotta get myself a long boots, a fork, and some, 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 cause I'm like, yo, I'm thinking I'm going in the jungle, jungle. I didn't know this, the place was, was really like, it, it was up to date. As soon as we came down and we got on the we got on the bus from the airport, the nigga started playing, Oh, my baby. I was like, everybody was like, yeah. Niggas got turned the fuck up. Cause niggas didn't know, you know what I mean? That hip hop and that shit was on this part of the world. You know what I'm saying? So, so niggas was hype. Niggas was hype on the bus coming down from the airport to the receipt to the to the receipt, um to the main police port in here, you know what I'm saying? We mm -hmm. start seeing KFC and all, all different kind of signs like billboards. Niggas was niggas was hype though. Niggas, like I said, niggas left there as little dudes. Niggas didn't know what to expect. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But when so when we reached to the place, here here the here the messed up part is. Here the left the messed up part is like, all right, good. When we reached to the place now where it is, did they have a like a main like police station that documents um? Like the parties and it's like it's, it's like the, the main place for all that right so when we land in now what they have to do they have to write down your, your, your information to where you're going you understand what i'm saying your address your phone number so it's like so it's like you're gonna be on parole but not really like serious parole you know what i'm saying they still want to keep like tabs on us but like i said they lost my bag they lost my shit they couldn't i couldn't give them nothing son nothing so everybody i'm seeing niggas rolling out the fucking precinct and i'm like i'm the only one did because i had no information to get them just so happened thank god the dude that that the, the, the police who was dealing with my situation after a while and they got tired and shit and it was like yo you don't know nobody you can't but which and i remember i remember i have an uncle 
living in a, a certain section of the country, but I just didn't know the address, right? So I told him. So I was like, yo, I got a country, I, I got a, a, a uncle living X Y Z, but I don't know the address. He's like, yeah. I was like, yeah. So he's like, if I if I lend you the money, like, cause I gotta get a taxi to reach there. If, I, if he lend me the money, if I'm gonna give him back, and I'm, I'm like, yo, son, I'm I'm a free as a bird. I'm glad I'm free as fuck. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm gonna give you the money back. So I know guy needs money to travel. Yo, last, I don't have nothing. It's been months I've been trying to, I've been trying to holler. Uh, be, look, before immigration put hands on me, I was trying to, I was trying to holler at my mom's the information about where we live in so I could give the people like, yo, if I'm getting released, I need to have an ad. My mom's wasn't answering. Nobody wasn't, I, I couldn't get no, I wasn't getting nothing, son. So even if I was getting released into the streets of New York, I didn't even have the information to give them. Because like I said, my, yo, son, you don't even know my peoples wasn't there for me, you know, throughout this whole shit. None, none of my peoples was there, son. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm not, <clears throat> and when I tell you these things, I don't want you or anybody who's listening to feel that I'm bitter, because I'm not. I'm being honest, so, so sincere when I said that I'm not bitter, because now I understand everything before I didn't know. But everybody was like, you know, doing their own thing, you know what I'm saying? And I just had to figure it out with, 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 with the help of the universe, you know? So anyway, the dude gave me the money. I, 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 I finally got a taxi and shit. I told the dude where I was going. Now I'm going to a place, like I said, I don't know where I'm going, but I, I know the name of my uncle. When I re- when we reached now, it's a long ass drive. I'm not even gonna lie, a place called Festival City. Right, when we reached there now, um, I, yo, watch out, watch out, watch out, the universe is great, son. I met a dude, right, as soon as I came out of the car. Came out of the car to ask, ask the dude the information. You know what I'm saying? Up to this day, this dude, mean dude, we, I mean, we haven't spoken in years, but he, I, I consider him a good friend. A dude named Junior, shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? Junior was the one I asked if he know the dude, and he was like, yeah, that's, he's like, yo, right there, he's live right there. When I look, my uncle owned a big ass, like, like a supermarket, like, in the, in the place, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, what? It was closed, the place was closed and shit. So I started calling, plus he started calling. Pay the taxi, do he gone. So when we call now, a lady come out. She took a while. When she come out, I was like, um, good night. My name is Simeon. Uh, my uncle's supposed to live here. His name is Tyrone, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. She was like, yeah, he said, I said, could you please let him know that his, his nephew was here, X, Y, Z. I'm all happy like a motherfucker. I'm like, yo, because I'm family. You know what I'm saying? So I'm family. Anyway, the lady go inside. And when she come back out, she took a long ass time. So when she came back out, the woman came out with a couple of... um. Like I think like two thousand, two thousand guy in a dollar or three thousand guy in a dollar. She's like, look, he said right now he can't talk to you. He's busy. You could come back tomorrow. So I'm like, no, you don't understand. I, I, I'm, I'm a deport. I just came out. I just got released from, from Ibleri. I've been deported. I don't have nowhere to live. She goes inside again. Stay long, 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 long. Anyway, me and the dude Junior start chopping it up. You know what I'm saying? He start, you know what I'm saying? He's like, yo, what's up? On here? You know, we started talking like like small talk, small uh, small small conversation. Anyway, when she do come outside back now, she's like, yo, like I said, man, he said you gotta come back tomorrow. So I was like, oh shit, all right, cool. So me and dude now, dude decide to carry me like uh, like out into the to the to the to the, to the, to the like the town to see the town and shit and i appreciated it because in my mind you know i ain't got nowhere to sleep i ain't got nowhere to live no nothing so i'm like yo damn the fuck this gonna happen what gonna happen here now anyway we go out we have some fun that night i ain't gonna lie we met two girls i thought i was in love the first night so i remember now 11 and a half years <laughs> <laughs> yo Liz! Your brother thought he was in love for I didn't even want to let Shirley go this night. I'm like, yo, where you going? I just met you, but where you going? <laughs> anyway, last, um, I ain't get to chop that night. Don't, I'm not even going front of my joint like that. We ain't get to chop, but you know what I'm saying? I enjoyed my, my, myself. We went, we went all over. We went to all the spots where they call hot down here. And this time I ain't really had no no plenty, a lot of money, but the, the money that I had, you know what I'm saying? We bought a couple of beer and shit. And I'm just trying to like figure out like, yo, I'm free, you know what I'm saying, son? I, I was like, I'm happy, but like I'm sad because like I said, I don't know what's my next move, where, where I'm gonna rest my head or whatever, whatever have you. Anyway, throughout the night we sport or whatever, next day I go back to see my uncle now. So where you, where you crashed that night? I didn't crash. The whole yeah. night me and the nigga sport on the road, we broke day. Mm. We broke, yeah, we broke day, son. I, I, I didn't have nowhere to go or whatever, but like I said, dude was cool and shit. Plus, he living with his family. I didn't even consider asking him or none. I just was like relying 
solely relying on the fact that you know at least i'm glad that i found my family and i'll be i have a place to to stay so when i go back next i see the nigga got like an old kind of like you know the 18 vehicles he got one of those in his yard and shit parked up like that in the old car so i was like yo i'm eyeing that shit up son because here what happened with me now right i'm not gonna lie to you son i don't like to inconvenience people you know what I'm saying, son? Mm-hmm. So I was like, yo, well, I don't think I'm going to ask this nigga to sleep, like, like to live in his house. I'm going to ask this nigga, just, just give me a brace. Let me sleep in the in this little in this little A-team shit for a couple of months. Let me let me get up on my feet. You know what I'm saying, son? Mm-hmm. And it was like, so when I go and I sit down, I start having a conversation with old boy or whatever. We start conversing and whatever, whatever have you. Now, who is, like, how yeah, is he related know? to you? This is like your mother's brother? Bro, this is my mother's brother, but I didn't even know my mother and this cat is like number one public enemy, number one towards each other, son. I know none of this, you know what I'm saying? The nigga was like, yeah, she carried you away. She know you was my favorite. She never looked back. She never said this. She never said that. And I'm like, what the fuck am I in here? Now, what, 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 you know? I'm in the middle of a brother and a sister war and then I didn't even know it. I knew his name, but I never knew who he was. I never knew that they had problems. I never knew none of that. I just know I have uncles in Guyana. Put it like that. Mm. It's when I'm sitting down conversing with him, he started saying, oh, she carried me away when I was young and she never looked back and she knew I was his favorite. And, and plus later down, I found out all the st- other issues that they had, you know what I'm saying? Family issues. And I'm like, damn. But anyway, dude was like, man. So I was like, yo, I said, man, uncle, I don't want to inconvenience you or anything like that, but I don't have anywhere else to go, you know what I'm saying? And um, I see you got this vehicle here. I, you know, I don't know if it's possible I could, you know, use in the meantime to sleep, and you know, uh, until I get on my feet. I don't know what it is about me, though, guys. I always, in my brains, just always feel that no matter where I'm at, I would make things happen, you know what I'm saying? I, I, like, I have the capability. So I didn't mind sleeping in the fucking vehicle. And the nigga studied long, and he was like, man, vehicle he's like nah that's gonna look bad for my business because like i said then they got like a supermarket shit running there and it's right at the side so how people come in and shop at your supermarket and you got your fucking nephew sleeping in some some shit out there you know what i mean so i guess he, he considered he's like nah that's not gonna look good for business you know but he was like but you know your grandmother where your grandmother's at they got it downstairs but it need cleaning up i'm a, you're gonna have to give me a little time to clean it up and then you could come back and i'm like yo this nigga said this nigga no i don't got nowhere to go where the fuck is he to, before he tell me yo can we clean can you can you or let me go the nigga's like i gotta come back i'm like oh shit, son. you know what i mean so i don't know <clears throat> i don't know what but you know what's the situation is with this so i'm like yo is this nigga serious is he gonna let me live there or he just Anyway, long story short, I beat out. When I beat out, now me and Junior, like I said, we run into town. We, we go back to the town. We go into town. Where we going? Oh, I lie. I skipped the part. He ended up giving me a phone number to a man who might be able to get on to my mom's. The nigga, the, the man is like a like a pastor of a church. My my mom's is Israelites, right? So the Israelites are staying in contact with this man. So when he gave me the number, when I left, now I end up calling the number. And spoke to the man. Guess what this man gonna tell me? Um, last. What? The nigga told me, yo, your mom's is in Guyana. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, your mom's is here. I'ma come and collect you. I'ma bring you to her. I'm like, I'm th- all the time I'm thinking this nigga bullshit. Cause look, yo, last, I can't tell the last year I had, I had spoken to my mom's. I'm, I, my mom's didn't even know I was coming home, so I'm wondering how the hell my mom's is in Guyana. What's going on? Long story short, the nigga was not lying, son. The nigga carried me to exactly where my mom was at. Not knowing my mom's was down here on vacation, son. Uh, she come down to buy some house or whatever. She she come to look at houses. She didn't have no money. She she, she had in a lawsuit. And I guess she was automatically thinking when she gets her lawsuit, what she's going to do anyway. I was elated to see her. She was elated to see me. She was staying in a hotel room. And the next four days, she was going back, back to America. So then for the next, after the, the four days, when she, when she, when she go back, before she go back, she introduced me to one or two people. Yeah, my mom introduced me to a lady that knew me when I was a baby. Before, she, before my mom's school back, go, went back up, up, up top, she introduced me to a lady and the lady ended up telling me, yo, when your time run out, cause I was in the hotel where my mom's was staying. I stayed in that room for like five days after my mom's beat out, right? Mm. After my mom's beat out now, Five days after, I moved in by the woman. The woman told me I could move in. So I'm living by the woman. I, matter of fact, I met a girl. I met a, a, a older woman through 
when I met my mom, she she had two friends. One of the friends, well, she ended up digging me or whatever, whatever. She had a scooter or whatever. So she, this, this girl, I never knew this woman was a hustler. So until I started moving all over Georgetown with her at the back of her, her bike, I know this niggas is trying to hustle at, holla at this girl. This is when I'm gonna realize that these guys need to, yo, these guys need to do disrespectful down here, son. Disrespectful. This girl, this girl, this woman kept riding me all over, but she looked good and shit. You know what I'm saying, son? And all these niggas. And I'm like, yo, these niggas don't see me at the back of this bike. Like, these niggas ain't got time. <laughs> niggas ain't got time with me, man. But Eddie Bay, she's like, yo, don't want to pay them no mind. There's all these guys. Oh, isn't that third? Anyway, long story short, um, uh, a dude came and gave me a, uh, a dude who knew me too. He was like, yo, he said, yo, niggas want to holler at you because of the shorty where I got. I'm like, yo, holler at me. He's like, yeah. He said, the girl, she's a hustler. She goes out to the country and she comes back and, you know what I'm saying, niggas want to holler at you, see if your business could be done. Yo, last, I'm not even gonna lie to you. When I first came out, I was not thinking about no bricks. I was not thinking about hustling. I just wanted to be free and see how I could make things happen for myself. People don't even know. Watch this. Before I left, before I left jail, I did over 2,000, 2000 hours of uh, peer counseling. I was a peer counselor, son. I used to run a class in the morning and a class in the afternoon. I used to teach dudes how to, you know, how to like, like be productive member of society once they re-enter back into society. It was a program. I used to teach them in the, I used to have a class in the morning and in the afternoon. That's how I ended up getting over 2,000 hours of, of peer counseling. You know what I'm saying? So, so I say all that to say that it's like, when I did, when I was, when I was a, 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 a peer counselor, I see, I see that, you know, it was working. It was helping brothers go, go back into society and be productive. I, I, I enjoyed that shit, son. So I never wanted to be one of them fake niggas that's teaching people how to be productive and then come into society and, and I'm a knucklehead. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when I first came down here, I never wanted to throw no bricks through no wall. I never wanted to do no. I just wanted to see how I could figure it out and, and, and get things moving the way how it's supposed to, legit wise. You understand what I'm saying, son? Mm-hmm. So, with the discipline and the mentality that I've developed over the years, and I come down here. Remember, I told you that I don't, I never, I don't, I never like bully and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yo, yo, lad, this whole country, if they're not bullied, they behave like bullies. The, 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 the men in this country, you hear what I'm saying? The whole country, everybody, they, they, they're on a on a hundred at all times, trying to like disrespect you and one problem with you. So imagine that a changed person, I'm changed, trying my best to see how I can make it in an in environment where I don't know nothing about. And here it is every day, I gotta be ducking from these dudes and all kind of different, because they start on necessary problem with you. I'm gonna get into you, get into that with you down the line. What I want to say is the part of, in terms of, since I met the girl now, the girl was the, the, the older woman, she was looking out for me. Like I said, dudes wanted me to, 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 to like bring her in and all that. So I was like, I shut that shit down. So, so I wasn't into all that, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't into me and the woman, she going to throw bricks for niggas and all. So I was I was cool because she was looking out for me or whatever. But I don't really want to say what ended up happening with me and her because I'm going to leave that for whenever we do the movies because, you know, it's a very important part. But she, she, she played a pivotal part or whatever have you, you know what I mean? And, you know, she looked out for me or whatever. But uh, I never got the support like 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 from my family in terms of a, since I since when I first came down I told them certain things I want to do. Everybody was telling me yes, what they gonna do or what they gonna, what they ain't gonna do. And nobody never live up to the part of the, the bargain, and it's cool. Like I said, I ain't vexed. You know what I'm saying? You know something, last a lot of times, right? We just hold people accountable for certain things, and we don't know what people is be going through and I'm willing to accept that a lot of times I, I, I probably I you know been, could have been like guilty of that also because like I said while I was going through while I'm going through down here I was wondering why a lot of things was happening like because people who I knew or who knew me and knew where I'm at nobody ain't looking at nobody and reaching no nothing so what I started to do in my brains I started to say no I'm gonna get it I know I'm gonna get it you know what I mean but I, I, I was wondering to myself why my immediate family wasn't like you know, stepping up or whatever. And then after a while, I said, you know what? If my immediate family can't step up and help me, I can't get vexed with nobody else outside of that who ain't, who ain't stepping up. You know what I'm saying, son? Anyway, I met a I met a dude from the same lady. I met a dude. Now, this dude was the rest of the day. His name is Andre. This is this is one of the dudes that looked out for me, King. I ain't gonna lie. This dude got me a job when I first came here, right? Because I wanted to work. And they got me a job working in a restaurant, King. And the fucked up thing about this restaurant, I'm the only dude. Yeah, I was the only dude working in the rest, like in the restaurant with these women. I, I had to, I had to um, lift the pots, 
lift the pots off the stove and wash them, right, son? Mm. Yo, son, these fucking pots, these pots, right? The pots then why I had to wash, son? These shits was like half my size, son. <laughs> Yo, you, I don't know if you ever see the pots where them niggas be using in them restaurants, but yeah. these shits big as fuck. Yeah, Yo, when it's time for me, when it's time for me to, when it's time for me to wash the pot, son, half of my body's in the pot, son. When I, yo, I'm yo, this is no lie. I'm soaked from head to toe. I'm wearing apron and everything, right? But I'm soaked from head to toe for like a whole week. I'm like, yo, I can't make it with this shit here. And my same homie, rest of the day, he come there and he see me. He's like, yo, man, you want me to get you another job? He's like, I was like, yo, please, man, this dude ended up getting me another job. Where is born? Yo, this is yo, yo. Let me tell you something. My country is racially divided. You know what I'm saying? They have the Indians and you have the blacks, right? And I'm gonna be honest with you. The the Indian, the dude who I'm talking talking about, Andre, he's an Indian dude, right? But, but this dude was like more black than a lot of blacks that I know. He was real loving, real cool, man. And these these black dudes down here, these dudes is the, yo. I'm really bitter at these people. I ain't gonna lie to you, son, because these dudes is disrespectful. They don't got no respect for the women. They, 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 they don't got no respect for like like I told you how they used to disrespect the deportees right so these niggas used to disrespect us like like if it was going out of style so, and everything is deportees this deportees that you know what I'm saying and it's bad because sometimes certain crimes go down and deportees ain't got nothing to do with it and we used to get blamed wrongfully for it you know what I'm saying Some sometimes the police would come and check on you sometimes the police would come and pick you up and a lot of the time, niggas was these the, the, the deporting niggas wasn't doing nothing, but we but the, the stigma was so bad on us that you know what I'm saying everything they used to disrespect they, these people used to disrespect the deporting so my son like I was like yo why is these people so hatred towards American but I didn't know that it the is <laughs> yo watch it watch this say last these dudes hated us so bad when we when we when we first came down here. It's like any day we could have got locked up for it. Any day I could have like like spazzed out and do something to certain people. You know what I'm saying? And I did because I, I held it down. Like I told you, I wanted to be a constructive person in society. I want I love kids. You understand what I'm saying? So so I always like saying that I'm gonna work with kids, however, which way, whatever. So I used to be ignoring a lot, a lot of things. Now what? I get a job. The same dude got got me a job. Now when he got me a job at the at the um, the, the restaurant after that didn't work out because like I said, the pots was too big and you know. It didn't make it. It didn't working for me. He ended up getting me a job at the car wash. Yo, the nigga got me a job at the car wash. Now this is when I'ma really hear how much they hate the forties. The forties is this, me, that, me, all day, every day. These 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 niggas is boxing me out so I can't get to wash no car so I can get a little extra on the side. These niggas, every little thing you could think about, like to be disrespectful, they was doing to me, son. And I was bearing my chair because, like I said, I'm down here. And I trying to be a different person. I ain't wanted to be on no gangster shit. I, you know, son, to be honest with you, I never was a gangster, you know, never in my mind. I always was like a person that loved respect. You know what I'm saying? That's, that was my thing, respect. So I don't know if people felt like, I, like I spoke to one of my dudes up there. He was like, yo, I know you got shit locked down there. I'm like, lock? What you mean lock? He's like, yo, I know how you do it. I'm like, no, I'm not even studying that. I'm so busy trying to figure out life in this country that I'm not thinking about locking shit, son. Plus, that's my brain. My brains wasn't even thinking about locking nothing down. I just wanted to find a niche and see and, and see how I could, you know what I'm saying, you know, get in where I fit in and get things, get things popping, son. Anyway, while working there, while working at the at the um the place there at the um, car wash, like I said, ridicules every other day. Anyway, I'm not gonna lie, but my my person sitting there, I end up snuffing a dude because he he telling me something about deporting the, the what the, some deportees they got himself in some problems, and he was trying to say that all deportees is like that. And it was a frivolous conversation, but he got disrespect in the process. I opened up a can on him. Them niggas put me on fucking on. They ain't knock me off. They put me on like a two week, a two week leave. After that two week leave, I didn't go back because I know if I go back there, the problem would continue. You know what I'm saying? The nigga got me another job selling popcorn. Don't hear this here. I don't have no complex. I, I walk and sell or whatever. Whatever I got to do to hustle, son, I'm a hustler, right? So now this nigga got me a job on on, on one of the main roadways everybody in the world goes to to shop. Everybody. If people won't find you, they can find you there. So I'm hustling there selling popcorn. You know what I'm saying? While I'm there, I almost got killed like the first couple of months, son, because they, they got some niggas escape out of prison. Some serious niggas. These niggas broke out of prison, and these niggas came on the fucking um the same the same strip I was, and started lighting the whole shit up early morning, son. Barely missing me and miss my stand, all kind of sh shot a police not too far from me, kill that nigga. And these niggas passed. What? Well, this is no lie, right? 
the, the, the niggas was shooting so cruel, son. This is no lie. I couldn't even run in no shop. I'm not where I'm selling that is bear shops. Bear shops, everybody close up their shops. So what I had to do, I had to run straight down on the side of a yard. I saw my scale of fence. When I ran till down on the side of this yard, cause my, 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 my popcorn stand was in between two two buildings, two long ass buildings, son. So for, while I'm running, trying to reach to the back of the building, I'm hearing these gunshots getting closer and closer, son. I mean, you know if these niggas just killing niggas or they just shooting up in the air. Cause I, so, yo, son, as soon as you hear gunshots on this road, if you see motherfuckers just pelting, son. Anyway, long story short, I said when I run to the back of this bill, I'm hitting the fence. Hitting the fence when I reach the back of the bill is set. The fence is at least 10 feet high, son. <laughs> <laughs> yo, last the fucking... Yo, oh, that sh- Yo, I could have shitted on myself, son, because I'm saying to myself... <laughs> Yeah, as soon as I turn this belly, I'm ghost. I'm this. I'm this. When I look at that fucking shit, that shit ten, at least 10 feet. I'm like, and I'm hearing these gunshots coming, lads. I'm hearing these gunshots coming close. What was they shooting the strip up for? Like, they just had beef with somebody on the strip, but they just was wowing just to be wowing. No, these niggas escaped out of the prison system and they was going to take take a a, 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 um, a dude down. The dude who they was going to take is supposed to be a, a rich businessman. I guess he had his hands in, in works or whatever, whatever. So they knew why they went and smashed him. But they had to like cause that commotion before they reached to him. Mm. Them niggas cleared a whole fucking block out doing that shit, son. I'm talking about bullets all close to my fucking sh- Look, they had a car not too far from my fucking stand, son. Not too far from my stand. That niggas ripped that shit to fucking yo. I'm telling you, bullet. They killed the police who went to not too far from my stand either, son. That's fact. If you if you tell what what if you go in the net or whatever, you check, you will see, you will see that you know, in, you know, certain years five escaping guy and escape and they cause havoc. The niggas cause havoc, son. That day, more early in the morning, son. Now those, them them the, dudes was the they was they was black Guyanese or or Indian Guyanese or mixed. They mix. They mix, yeah, they mix. You know what I'm saying? But 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 you 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 know why? Yo, let me tell you something. I I'm not gonna lie to you, lads. You know why I feel that I have a I have a, a great. It, I know the word hate might sound real fucked up, but I want to use this. I want I don't like these kind of fucking men for nothing, son. You know why I say that, lads? You know why I say that? Because here they say now. Now you tell me, right? Uh, like I told you. These dudes is so overly aggressive all the time. These niggas be busting girls' ass like it's like if it's a man. These niggas quick to put their hands on females like that, all right? Okay, that's your preference, that's your preference. I don't believe in knocking women and stuff like that, son, right? All right, leave it like that. Now, the reason why I said I don't like them is because now, when I was in foreign, doing what I did, whether it was on the road or incarcerated, I never ran into no ignorant guy in these nigga or no well-known guy in these nigga that is shit ringing off like, like that i never i mean don't get me wrong i'm not saying they don't have but i never ran into them so i'm saying if these dudes got all this energy in their country how come when they jump on a plane you're not seeing them you're not hearing them when when i did run into a few guys in prison these dudes just under the, the, the umbrella of the jamaicans so i want to how these dudes is so gangsters so tough so mean, but I never ran into none of them. And my name is the my name is the biggest name since coming out of these Guyanese people, coming out of Guyana. Same biggest thing coming out of Flappers. So I'm wondering why I never heard of no Guyanese person or Guyanese dude that gets busy. You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm saying, I'm saying to tell you is that I feel like these dudes is putting out a fraud in this country, dog. And and what was what's even more worse about it right now is that now that they got the Mali and they got all these different drugs, these dudes is acting way yo, I'm telling you, dudes to start unnecessary problem with you today and come in your face tomorrow and, and uh, today and, and come in your face tomorrow, act like they don't know what they did, son. So imagine you you deal with a bunch of ignorant people and then now here it is with these new drugs. This shit is real meth, yo. It's only the universe got me still floating right now, guys. The amount of shit your brothers duck every day. But like I told you, but like I told you before, right? By the way how I look, my face, how my face look like, I look like, so, I look sore. I look like I can't hurt nobody. So this is what they just go off the, They just look at me like I'm some little boy that like they could, thank God none of them never knock me. But it's just that 
for years I had to learn how to deal with words and that's something I used to like I used to you know son I used to plug out on those like like when you, when you if me you have an argument you go to a lot of opening your face or doing something so for come down here now after all the years and change and gotta be looking at these dudes in their face and some enough time I'll be smiling so they think I'm a clung I love dancing I love cheering most of the time I'm around children so these dudes don't know nothing about me lads nothing nothing and I never wanted to like highlighted myself because I looked at my past as my past. You know what I'm saying, Lass? I never wanted to like take my past and use it as a badge of honor or anything like that because I felt that there's so many different, so much different layers to me. You know what I'm saying? That I just didn't want to just rely on my past. And I, I never just wanted to put it like this. I never hold none of that I did in the past in high regards, Lass. You know what I'm saying? I never, I'm not even going to lie to you, son. Like I said, Dudes past, dudes, dudes, but even when them dudes back before that came at me for doing interviews before, I never really, like, understood, like, yo, why would I want to go even, like, you know what I mean? Because, like I said, I, I'm a new person. I wanted to, I wanted to act new. I wanted to be new. I wanted to bring, be of substance. I don't want to just remember, for, be remembered for my past, King, you know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you right now, lads, this is where it is born. I'm glad that I got the chance to know you, because at least I know eventually you will really get to see how I am, you know what I'm saying, son? Just like I'm getting to see how you is as an individual, you know what I mean? And it's like, I feel that I have so much to offer towards at least the youths, brother. That's just the thing that has hurt me. These, I don't, I don't want to give a double standard, a double message to them, man. Yes, I want people to know that you could be a, a, a bad person, or you could be a person that handle your business, or you could be this, but you could also change. You know what I'm saying? Because I've changed, I've changed so much less. And here the bad part is, I'm not saying like if I was that big, big with bad part. I never was bad. You ask niggas that know me, I was always cool. Once you under my umbrella, nobody fucks with you. And it's the same thing here. It's just that I don't have no umbrella down here. I'm by myself. I don't want friends. I've been turned off by people because I don't know. Look, when we up there, son, everybody's your friend. Everybody's loving. Everybody's this and that. that when you man down, people don't got time with you, son. You know what I'm saying? So. It's like, I hope that at least my testimony be able, will be able to help certain peoples out there because a lot of brothers out there who thinking a lot of them brothers and them guys who's around them is their friends, they will learn and they will learn the harder. They don't know when they get locked up or they get themselves in the hospital. Nobody's not going to be there for you. It's, it's It seems nice and cool when you're laughing, you're joking, and yeah, because, you know, but when you when you when, 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 when you actually go through these things, no, yo, know, last, let me tell you this, for my whole bed, no one was there. Yeah, no one was there for me for my whole day. Whether it's to write the letters, whether it's to come and visit me, nothing. So, if 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 you see that, that you go through things like that, why would you still want to play? You going and 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 and, and friending up with this body and friending up with that body, and you know what I'm saying? You so we supposed to live from, live and learn from all from all of our examples, and that's and that's what I wanted to be. I wanted to be a testament that I've learned from all of my mistakes in my life. You know what I'm saying? So that's why anytime I get a chance, I try to edify the younger brothers and sisters to let them know what's going on. You know? And and another thing, another bad thing that I can tell you though, is that while I was down here, I, I've been approached after that shootout, after that shootout that I told you about on Regent Street, I've been approached a couple of months after that. I'm just trying to show you how you, you get tested so many different ways. These dudes now decided that they wanted to create it, they wanted to start it a gang. No, hold now, on one second, not to interrupt you, not to interrupt you. But I, I interrupted you before when you said you got to the fence that was 10 feet high and I ain't, we ain't think you ain't let me know how you got out of that. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Yo, son, I laid down because I noticed I, I noticed I couldn't climb that shit. I laid down and played dead. So I was like, <laughs> you just laid and, Yo, and, and dudes actually came I back there. No, but this is what I was nervously hoping they didn't, son. I was peeking all kind of shit, shaking all kind of shit on the ground. And I'm like, yo, the niggas gonna earth me. I'm the only nigga locked out, son. Everybody is locked in. <laughs> but thank God, here what happened. You know why the niggas didn't come down in there, son? Bro. To me, it was too long for them to come in. That wasn't their plan. Remember, I told you it's two yards. I'm up the buildings that I'm passing. It's in front. It's, it's like this. A building on the right, a building on the left. But in, in the, these are two yards for in order for you to reach till at the back to the building is long. So I don't think they wanted to run and now if they were while it was passing and they see me running through, running going, they could have they could have clapped me. Cause like I said, it was long like that. They could have actually while passing, clapping with where I'm at and look up and see me running, they could have clapped. Me. But just so I'm like turned the corner before they reached to my stand. So they didn't come in. They didn't come into that that gap where I was hustling in. They they didn't. But if they did, they could have yo, they would have murdered me right behind this, huh? Easy. That was 
That was easy. I, I already laid down and played like this shit happened. <laughs> 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 God, my <Jesus. laughs> yo, yeah, but these niggas, yo, but them niggas end up getting killed. But, but let me let me finish telling you. A couple of months, a couple of months down the line, them niggas created a gang, big gang down here. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I was approached. You know what I'm saying? One of the one of the first, to be honest, I was approached to be. I'm quite sure if you check it up, you would hear the Phantom Gang. Unfortunately. Or should I say, fortunately, I, I turned it down. You know what I'm saying? The, the gang that these niggas created after them niggas escaped, right? And started going on, whatever, whatever. To, like a lot of the, the, um, the, the, the people in this country. Like here, what the Indian people in this in this country is rich. Richer than the black. You know that, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like, these niggas, these niggas started pooling their money and bring the gang together for the blacks to kill all blacks. And, you know, I, I mean, I, if, if, you know, I wasn't that desperate that I wanted to kill anybody for money, son. But if I, if at that time, if I wanted to, I could have, you know what I'm saying? I turned it down. The, the, the gang started going on at the rate. The niggas started making a name for themselves. They, they, they had a good run, you know what I mean? But while they was doing that, I was selling my popcorn, son. Seeing people coming and going. Matter of fact, talking about seeing people coming and going is right there on Regent Street where I was hustling my popcorn. I saw my, you remember I told you, but I told you the dude that went out with me, the dude L? Yeah. Remember I told you the cat in, in immigration that helped me go with him. I want, I want to tell you a little bit about him because he met me right there, right, son? When the nigga saw me selling popcorn, guess, guess, guess what this nigga told me, son? The nigga looked at me. The nigga said, yo, Sim, popcorn, son? So I'm like, yo, at first, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck he mean, popcorn. So he's like, yo, popcorn? I'm like, yeah, why, why? He's like, you selling popcorn, son? I'm like, yeah, what's wrong? He's like, nah, son. Nah, he can't see, I can't see myself selling popcorn. And look where you at, you where everybody can see you. Because I'm on the, I'm on the ab, ab, ab. But last, like I said, I'm being honest with you. I didn't give two flying fucks as long as I could, like, defend myself. Like financially, son, I'm I'm gonna do it. I don't even care if I have to walk and sell the motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? I don't care. Look, I don't have no complex. I'm not here to please people. You know what I'm saying? So when he told me that, I was like, yo, this ain't nothing. He's like, nah, son, nah. Anyway, he started getting his money different. You know what I'm saying? The nigga, the nigga, nigga, when he came here, the nigga, they couldn't stay here too long. He, he ended up going to a neighbor country. He went to carry some bricks over there. Then he ended up getting locked up for six months. He just finished doing 13 years and came down here. Six months, then he come back to guy, and when he come back to guy, and the nigga shit start going off. Unfortunately, um, I don't know. I thought, I thought the gang, I thought the gang would have got a hold of him, but it's just like he, like to me, he had power with them niggas is to, to, to a level. You know what I'm saying? So he started doing a lot of different things. He came and gave me a bread one time. You know I'm saying I accept him blessing shit. So one day now, I'm gonna tell you, this nigga mom's right. The dig, dig, she, this woman, they dig me so much, son. This woman called me in for a meeting and told me, man, she need me to talk to her son because this nigga is out of control. This woman packed up all her shits in fire, son. Everything you could think about, down to the dog, the cat, her husband, and they brought everything down here, they vehicle everything, just so he could keep himself, himself out of problem. You know, one day I was talking to this dude, you know what I told him? I said, yo, son, you got your mother, your father, oh yes, everybody just look out for you. Why are you still doing the things you... You know what this nigga told me? Yeah, this nigga, um, this last this nigga told me this. He want to get hit on his own. He don't want it from nobody. Now watch this here. You know a lot of times, right? You got different brothers. A lot of brothers come down here with different mentality. Like for instance, me. I wanted to be a changed person. I got people who come down here with, with, with they got drug addicts, drug addicts. You got people that came down here that didn't have no family. You got some people that come down here who, who got deported wrongfully. You understand what I'm saying, son? Mm-hmm. That's why. That's why. That's why I made a note in the in the in the first interview to let you know that the deportee, the, the, the deportation system, they wronged a lot of people. And I would never like speak up in terms of like like if I wanna like I'm speaking up because I wanna go back and then I'm speaking up because you know for for stop it from furthering happening to others. Because now you think about this now, right? The government had all that time, all that chance to set a system for when people do get deported where they will be able to have a, a better chance of becoming, uh, uh, you know, ease it a little, ease them into the, this society. Because you remember we left here from small, we don't know nothing about this. They implement nothing. It's just like you just, you see like what they do to the veterans, the men go to war, they shoot at this and then when they come home, they no love, no nothing. Well, it's worse than that to me because watch, I see dogs, I see, I see document, documentation, documentaries on cats and dogs being more treated than how they're treating people 
who get deported, son. And that's bad. They need the, the, they need some kind of system need to be set so that way when people get deported back into their country, now I'm not just talking about guy, I'm talking about all over, that people could remigrate. Because how you want to sentence a man to 11 and a half years, 10 years, 15 years, and when he finished, when he reached back, when he, when he finished now, you send him back and you send him into an environment where he don't have no family, he don't have no money, he don't have no, what are you telling him to do? Fact. What's the message we sending? Get it however you gonna get it. Ah, right. And that's what's been going on. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. A lot of deportees that since I went, since when I first came down here, son, niggas wasn't been niggas wasn't doing nothing. But yet every time that something go down, they blaming deportees. Every time something go down, the Guyanese do started to do shit and making the thing look seem like it was the, the, the deportees and deportees wasn't doing nothing nothing because you know why where i where my hustle was at i get to see them every day every other day at least the ones who came down with me some of them smoking son some of them don't got no way to live some of them don't don't got no money sometimes i help them sometimes i can't sometimes you know what i'm saying and it's real bad because your family is the number one people who just turn their back on you in these part these parts whether they know you or they don't know you like i said I went and lived by that woman's house for like three months. For three months, I was living at that woman's house. The woman, just one day I come in like this, the woman tell me, yo, you gotta make your heights, you gotta roll. So I didn't know why she want me to leave or whatever, what have you. When she told me to leave, I said, all right, cool. I goes back to my uncle now. When I go back to my uncle now, he finally tell me, yeah, um, I could go to live downstairs by my grandmother. Now, last I ain't gonna lie to you, where my grandmother was living, the environment was so bad, man. I'm not even gonna lie to you, son. They don't have no lights, no water, no road. Everything is mud, in, mud, out. And it's one of the most dangerous fucking place you could think about, because these niggas is killing niggas every other day. Like, if you try to like do a business there or whatever, whatever, the niggas, the niggas was popping niggas' heads off every other month you was hearing it, right? Anyway, I'm a deportee in the place. I know that these niggas used to be watching me, because like I said, I'm selling popcorn. I'm, every morning I push out, and I, when I come home back, I come home close to night. So, anyway, any, anywhere I land, right, last, for some reason, if they got a bad chick in that environment, once she's a bad chick and she's cool or whatever, me and them, for some reason, just become friends. And this is what, remember I tell you niggas be hating on me? Niggas always hating on me when it comes to being this. Now, I moved in with my grandmother. I, you know, I'm going in and out, going in and out. I don't know, know none of these dudes, but I see they used to be watching me and shit, whatever have you. So now I end up bagging one of the baddest chicks. Everybody like 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 dog this chick or whatever. So they had some dudes. This this is the first this is the first incident where I almost, almost lost my cool at night last year. You hear me last? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I almost lost my cool this night. I almost I almost gave it to these niggas tonight. Hey, what happened? I'm dealing with this girl, right? Every other night I come in, she come by me. We do what we got to do. I carry her home. Every other night, like clockwork. So like these niggas was was really really like like they couldn't take it no more. So this night I'm going. She left. She leaving my house. I'm carrying her home. Here is niggas gonna say, Yankee niggas the suck puss. Now the place is dark. You can't see them. You can see them right, but you can't really see that good. So I didn't say nothing to these niggas. I just walked this girl home real fast. Son, Cause I apply into a passion. I don't even know how I got so fucking passionate. I don't know if it's because at the time I never tried sucking puss. So I don't know what it is. Son, but I got vexed. I got upset. Like Yankee niggas is smack us. <laughs> so anyway, I made a UE after I dropped the home. I came back, but I had a knife on me, son. I ain't gonna lie, and I pulled the knife out. These niggas can't see in my hand, son. It's like five of them. I'm like, yo, the first, the two closest one to me, I'm beating them. Cause I'm vexed, mother son. I'm like, this nigga, these niggas just trying to diss me. Which I had to feel like these niggas always wanted a problem with me, but they just didn't know how to start it. So when I stepped to these niggas, I was like, yo, what's up? Which one of y'all says said what y'all said just now? And it was like, what? I was like, yo, one of y'all niggas just said, Yankee niggas is suck puss. Who said I want y'all to say it right now? One, Yankee, yo, my, my, glad you ain't by. Nobody want no problem with you. But what happened with me, right? Last, a lot of a lot of people don't know this. A lot of times, a lot of times I heard people offer what come out of their mouth and they never knew that. And that night, I was actually waiting for one of them to say something that would give me that extra. And they didn't, son. They didn't, they didn't feed into it. And I thank God, because... I would have stabbed at least two of them that night. So I mean, they probably would have fucked me up or stabbed me or shot me or whatever. I don't know, but I, I, that's how. That's how. One time I couldn't. At one time I couldn't. I, I couldn't like control my anger like how I can now. You know what I'm saying? Back then I thought I had changed. I thought I. Had, but when that shit, when that nigga said, "Yo, son, you know what? You know what I want to tell you before I forget? 
all of the deportees disrespect these people disrespect you know when I, I left and I go to Venezuela I lived in Venezuela for nine years I know you're waiting for that, that Venezuela store you know when I went to Venezuela and come back you know now these guys these, these people is way more American than me now <laughs> <laughs> the same, the same, the same. <laughs> Yo, son. Yo, last. I can't tell who is who now in this motherfucker. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Last, watch this shit here. Watch this here. I skipped the part, right? I skipped the part I wanted to tell you about. That I, I end up started doing rap music here, right? I ran into a dude named Genevieve. Genevieve told me that they're doing music, right? So I'm like, Real rap, son. He's a deport. He's like, he's like, yo, it's bare, it's bare dips. I'm like, okay, cool. I didn't want to do the rap. I said I was going to spend the money on a dude named Karate. The nigga, a deportee nigga named Karate was down here. And I used to see this nigga sleeping on the road. So I used to like help him out all the time. And then one, two time he tell me that he just raps. So I'm like, yo, maybe I could be like, a, um, you know, like a, a puffy or one of them niggas. You, 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 you go and press up some, some CDs if a nigga spit and we going to sell it. So this is what I'm thinking now. I'm like, what? Anyway, for me selling, for me working on Regent Street, selling my popcorn, I ended up buying a scooter. So I used to roll all over this fucking place and all over with my little scooter. Nobody couldn't tell me nothing, right? Because I started to learn the place and shit. Because like I'm saying, you getting, yo, down here when you're working down here, son, it's below minimum wage down here. Below minimum wage. You know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, if I work today, I will be working for like $20 US for the whole day, right? $20 US for the whole day. A lot of people don't know. They don't know how, 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 and the thing is, right? You're working for these little bit of money and the, and the price of the things in this country is there as fuck, son. There as hell. So it's like, it's like, it's like, you, you, you're in a country trying to make, 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 make thing right. But it's like every little turn, every twist, every turn is a problem because like you say, you ain't making enough money to do what you want. But anyway, I had to get that bike. And anyway, I, got, I snatched this dude up and I carried this nigga to the, to the, to the studio. When we carry, when I carried the nigga to the studio now, for him to spit, the dude was like, yo, the, the executive was like, yo, spit something. He's like, yo, I don't really do it like that. I didn't bring my book. And I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo what the fuck? Let me bring you to this motherfucking place and meet this guy. I got a meeting with one of the niggas up in the, the studio and all that. This nigga ain't spit, son. I don't know what got into me. I go home. I wrote a rap. And the rap that I wrote, I mentioned all them niggas' names. I go back the next day, spit it. The niggas was like, yo, we need you instead here. Anyway, I fall in with the studio, Platinum Studio. Started making music. Some some of my shit was on the radio bumping. Even sometimes, some now, something in between you hear from some of my music. You know what I mean? And I never got paid for none of my music. But here this it. I know who I got paid. I ain't digging nothing, you know what I'm saying? It was part of the process. I want to give a shout out to this dude named my wee name, man, Chow Powell. This dude's an entertaining guy, right? He's one of the biggest comedians. This dude used to hire me every Tuesday night to go and do, do songs, like to perform show, uh, to, to perform in an um, upscale guy in a restaurant, a place called Nima um, Upscale. It's a, it's a high class restaurant. You hear, son? Mm. And I used to go and spit my bars, and I used to get like a little, a little fifty dollar US, and I used to feel good, and I respect him for that because he's one of those like try to exploit. He like he try to he try to push guy in his talent, you know what I'm saying? He do he does a lot for this country, but he's not he's not appreciated. He's not appreciated by the people. He's not appreciated by the government. None, none, none. But he's always trying, and I respect him for that. I never forgot this man. Never, ever, 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 buddy. Because I'm telling you, sometimes I'll be home. I don't have no money, son. This nigga will call. My rap name is James Blue. He's like, Yo, Blue, what's up? What you doing? Come through. Right away, I know I got food on my table, son, you know what I'm saying? Let me ask you this before yeah. I forget. Was you yeah. about to say something ended up happening to your man L after you told him, yo, you got your family stressing and all of that? Like, whatever happened to the kid oh, L? Yeah. yeah, well, the dude L and shit, like I said, the nigga started, like, he started rolling with the wrong niggas, man, you know what I'm saying? And... Them niggas was them niggas was taking it. Them niggas was taking it, son. You know what I mean? And the nigga, the last thing I remember, I had, I started to stay away from him because he he had ended up getting he got shot one time, right? And I, I used to go and exercise on the seawall, the place called the seawall where all the, the ocean is at. And then when I, I'm exercising this morning, I'm coming home. When I cross the road, I see the newspaper. I saw the newspaper, and he he was on the front of the page. So when I go and read it now, right away I go home. I call this nigga, son. When I called, I ain't get on anyway. I had to go find his mother. His mother tell me where he was stashed. When I go and see him, one of his own homies had shot him or whatever, whatever, whatever have you. Anyway, I had eased him for a little while for that because 
You know, so I didn't want to be around certain things, son. You know what I mean? I was really trying my best to be a good citizen, man. And, you know, me and him, just, you know, we kept our distance or whatever, but I kept hearing about him, how he was going. The last thing I heard, he, 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 went, he went with some niggas and they, and, they, and they got caught. All of them got caught with all their guns. They went on a robbery, they all got caught. And like a day or two after he got bailed out, the nigga went and the nigga went and tried to take down a fucking travel agency, and, and the, 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 the security niggas earthed him, man. The security, and I heard he was begging for his life. He gave, he he, he done already chose his gun and everything. He's like, yo, don't do it. And the niggas still aired him out. When I go, when I go for see him now, they they had a closed casket and shit. The mother was like, yo, let him see him. That's his friend. And I, oh man, I was like, you know, when I went to see him, you know what? The only thing I could have said to him because he was button, son. This thing was like. When I say button, I mean like pushing, 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 and he had no need. The only thing I could have said to this dude when I looked at him, I said, yo, I was like, yo, this, this, this is what you wanted, son? I mean, this is what you wanted, son? This is the only thing I could have said, man. Because you got your family doing everything for you, man. Every God's forsaken thing. He didn't have to do nothing, son. But it's like, it's just in him. You know, you got certain Brooklyn niggas that, that sort no matter where they go, that that rah rah is in them. And you or said that, some, that wild someone's... Nigga, you said someone's from Brooklyn? Yeah, someone's from Brooklyn, but I can't really say exactly which part. Because like I said, we met each other in immigration, and he never knew that I was alive, why, or nothing. I didn't know his status. I didn't know. We just, it's just too cool. Niggas got, niggas got cool. That's it. But you know what I'm saying? Plus, I was nice in basketball. Nice. And that's how I mean. That nigga ended up being he, cool, too. He was black, or he was Indian, or what? No, the nigga was black. The nigga mixed, man, cause he 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 he, he fair skin. Like like he got your complexion, man. But his mom's his mom's is my color, and his pops is your complexion. So it's like a, that down here they call it either black or Portuguese. So he mixed. You know what I'm saying? Red skin nigga. This nigga was nice and bald. So I'm nice, nice. When I tell you, I'm talking about like yeah, like NBA nice. Huh? Cause this nigga used. I'll tell you one day this nigga paintball in the yard, son, and I'm like screaming like if I'm a fucking super group of, group of fan or some shit like that till a nigga was like, yo, you fucking, yo, where this boy, son, a nigga try to diss me, was like, yo, no, like I said, them niggas in immigration didn't know me, he's like, yo, you act like you need pom-poms, this when I know Al now was really a serious nigga, because when I, when, when the nigga said that, I told Al, I'm gonna give it to this nigga, Al took over the beef, Al went and snuffed the nigga while he was in the shower, son, this is why I told him he was a nigga that, that was like ready, really on the go. You know what I'm saying? Cause he, you know, the nigga didn't even want me to deal with it. Like he said, what? I was like, yeah. I went in the shower, snuffed the nigga, telling the nigga come out of the shower. Cause El didn't even want me to do nothing, son, nothing. He's like, nah, fuck that. And this, like I said, El didn't even know. He didn't know that I'm a no nigga or no nothing. That's why I dug him. So it's not for say like he was trying to prove a point to me or he's trying to like, you know what I'm saying? Big up his chest or none, none of that. Son had That's a why Guyanese, I said a lot of these fucking guys. Son had a Guyanese accent or he just sounds straight American. No American son. No straight, straight American son. <clears throat> Yo, I never ran into no live wire guy in these niggas, son. This is why I'm fucking vexed with these niggas because they so turned up down here, and I'm wondering when y'all get on up. But watch. <clears throat> so this who, how I got these niggas down down here, son? Huh? Whose son was fucking with the, the niggas he was fucking with and running with? They was they was other deportee niggas or they was other like American niggas who got or he was just mixed up with niggas from out there and yeah, all of that. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. He mixed he mixed with both, with some of some of the dip and some of the with the with the regular. You know what I mean? Yo, son, I could have got my hand enough shit since I I could have got down with him. I could have got down with that gang, that that gang I told you the phantom. I could have got a part of that. But I, I the reason why I'm giving it up and let you know this, just to let you know with all of the, the the, 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 the shit I've been going through or whatever, I still trying to hold it up because I still feel like there's more to it than this, that the universe gonna bless me because I never did no negative shit since I've been there, son. You know what I'm saying? And then that transition to Venezuela, when I go to Venezuela and I tell you what went on there, then you're gonna be like, yo, how the fuck we reached to this? Now, if certain things I played out from in the beginning, I would have never went to Venezuela. You know what I'm saying? But what I realized, saying eh, is that all of us have different journeys, man. And not only that, especially if you're a chosen individual, you have to experience certain experiences. And it's, it's like nobody can help you. That's why this is this is what I wanted to explain before I forget. 
that's why I feel that I'm not upset at nobody. I don't know why a lot of people is afraid to speak to me or converse with me because they know they didn't do nothing for me. But I am not holding nobody accountable for nothing. And I really, really mean it because they white last. I come to realize being chosen, there's certain things that we, we as chosen ones just have to go through. And sometimes we have to go through it on our own. And it doesn't matter how long it may take. It all depends on the universe. So it's now that I reach a pinnacle in my life and I said, wow. Now I see why the whole world just turned it. To your son, how everybody gonna turn it back on you, son? Let's think about that. Yeah, it's the man, universe, that shit son. is like that shit is crazy. It's like jail too, bro. You know, so we go to jail, man. Some people treat you like you dead. Like I, done, I went and did my bit. It was people that yeah. they, I didn't hear one word from them while I was in the penitentiary, yeah. family and all. Yeah. And when I came home, you know, I just. I realized that when you in jail, motherfucker, out of sight, out of mind, bro. Out of sight, out of mind. When a motherfucker ain't seeing you, they not thinking about That's you. True. You one less, That's true. you one less responsibility. You one less nigga to to be real to. Like you feel me? Out of sight, out of mind. Niggas be happy when you out of sight. You feel what That's I'm saying? True. That's true. So I don't That's blame true. motherfuckers because I know that shit is human nature, bro. Because I got friends that I grew up with tight uh -huh. and when i did uh -huh. that bid i ain't hear one word from the niggas the entire bid the entire bid but you know when i came home i didn't i didn't i didn't feel a certain kind of way i just understood that you know i know which motherfuckers a motherfucker who do remember you and do stay in contact when you like that that's a true friend exactly exactly but you know you know what you said is a million percent right but but here, here the thing is with me what i came to realize when when i realized that it just wasn't a few individual or it just wasn't a group of people and i realized that it's everybody that like like deprecated though i'm not gonna say in between you had one or two do send me a 50 dollar a 40 dollar shout out to my boy frazier and um and val i got a little homie named val always look out for me too but these is these is niggas i tell you for like years they wasn't around me but within the last couple of years yeah once in a while they'll step in and, and shy me something for acts you know what i'm saying but what i mean like 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 for bread for like help me start a business or what i never had that i never got I, which don't get me wrong i had i had conversations with people who who, who could have made it happen i'm, I'm not gonna even lie we, we, we had plans and and I, like i said i don't know what happened you know what i'm saying i guess that's time go down while we will straighten that out but overall i'm always back then always trying so i always try so you know in this part of town son in this part of the world you can't work for people down here i mean you could work for them yeah but it's tax because these people don't have no type of yo when it comes to discipline buddy when it comes to respect and speaking to people with with manners these people don't these people oh my yo this buddy this is like one of the things i hate about these people and, and just imagine i'm a guyanese you know I'm a Guyanese, buddy. But you can't say you use a Guyanese and use a this and here it is. I see how you speak to each other. These people don't have no respect, lads. And here it is. Here it is. Here, here I am with my discipline and want to be respectful and everything. And these look at me. These these people look at me as a clung for being the way how I am. Just imagine. And you know I'm not no clung. I know I'm not no clung. But I, all I just kept saying for years, as long as nobody don't touch me, I gonna be able to maintain myself, man. Just don't touch, cause I, I you know, I, I, I mean, I've been tested so much, but I've never been tested to the point with the touching part. You know what I'm saying? And I'm thankful that I learned how to like, like let the the, the words be. It, it's nothing. You know what I realized that a lot of times, right? A lot of times, things that we we just take from people, like like for instance, if me you get into a confrontation, a verbal competition, and you say something, it might affect me to a point where I'm going to do something to you, right? No, I learned how I had to learn how to like stop allowing myself to let you say something that's going to trip me out. I have to learn that because sometimes I, mean, I would approach a person and want to do them something and it all depends on what they say that would determine if I'm going to do them something. You know what I'm saying? So now when I come down here and I know I didn't want to do nobody nothing, I don't approach nobody. Or if I do pull somebody up, I do it in a respectable way, but I still get disrespected in the process. So I have to learn, read, learn myself mentally that in other words, the, 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 the barbaric the barbaric way I learned in the beginning is now I need it. It's now I need it. But it, it's now I don't want to bring it up because I'm, I'm tired. Last, last, 
I am fucking sick and tired, son. Hurting motherfuckers, plotting how to hurt motherfuckers, scheming. You know what you say. I go. I could go as far as to tell you this. Shit. This is no lie. I'm not gonna lie. A year and a half ago, niggas, niggas try to line me up. A deport to niggas try to line me up. And I was getting ready to go and deal with him and the person on everybody. And you know what I did? I said, man, all these years you're saying you believe in the Almighty. All these years you're still going and handling your work. I said, yo, this is this is one work here. I'ma leave. Let I'ma 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 let I'ma let it go, man. I let that shit go. And some other niggas who, who had bread for me, I was getting ready to go and deal with. I let that shit go. And I put it in the hands of the, in the universe. And it's up to the universe where he gonna do or what he do, man. I'm not even gonna lie to you, King. You know, cause I'm tired, lads, I'm tired. And these dudes here would start problem with you and call the police and run to the police so fast. And the police down here, even more worse. These niggas, look, these soon as they come to talk to you, they don't talk to you with like diplomacy or talk to you to rectify, to, to, to rectify. They coming right away, disrespecting you, ready to put hands on you and all that. How could you deal? How could you be a, a, a professional and this is how you're conducting yourself? The whole place, the whole mentality of these people is like that, lads. The whole mentality of these people is bare aggression. Cause fuck you, guy, it's got this, dog. Nah. And that's another thing. They like to call you auntie, man. When they want, like, this you, like, I like how you say, I got my, I, my face don't look aggressive. Oh, he's like, I, I gotta be a gay or auntie, man. This time they know it's a fucking killing. They, yo, some of them, when they be talking and being disrespectful, I just got a, I just had a, I just have a smile on my face, right? And, they, and I used to be saying to myself, they don't even know how many times they smiled and fucking crushed pussles like this. Is I son? But like I said, I had to learn how to accept the fact that, yo, it's not what people tell you that's hurt you, man, or how I perceive it. A lot of time, I used to allow people to say certain things that trigger me off, and I had to stop that. And I learned it, and I'm thankful. You know why I'm thankful? Because, yo, a lot of times it's, it's how we perceive things. Not, it's, it's not what they're saying. It's how we, me, me as an individual. I'm like, yo, last said this, but it makes me feel like that. How could, we, how could what you tell me make me feel a way or if I didn't, if I am not allowing it to be like that, last? This is the thing that's happened with us. We just end up tricking ourselves. We just end up, watch, yo, yo, simple as you see growing up in Brooklyn, King. The, what you see we grow through and we go and we went to the island all, all of that shit yo son the average individual wasn't supposed to make it through and still have the sanity like how we have right right now i want you to know that right mm -hmm. just think about the things you went through or your homies and homies or families just think about it and they still here today they could call or you can call regardless if they do it for you or not and they still have their sanity you know how many fucking people don't have their sanity you know how many people are pretentious they will pretend to you like if they understand everything that you're saying or they will pretend to you like they know what's going on, but they don't have a fucking idea what's going on, King. That's a fact, bro. 